Hey everybody, I'm Lee Yanko. I'm a product manager here at Google Cloud, and I'm joined by my friend Ashish Kumar, senior manager, cloud reliability and production engineering at the Home Depot. And we're here to talk to you today about how the Home Depot scaled monitoring globally with managed service for Prometheus. So, quick overview of what we're going to talk about today. First, I'm going to talk about why Prometheus, why managed service for Prometheus. Then Ashish is going to talk about how the Home Depot scaled monitoring across 2,300 stores running Kubernetes on-prem. And then finally, I'm going to talk about what's next for the service. So why Prometheus? Basically, if you ask anyone, how do I monitor Kubernetes, the answer is almost always Prometheus. They go hand in hand. They were the first and second products graduated from the CNCF incubator. And according to a recent CNCF survey, 86% of their community uses Prometheus. It's simply the standard. Some specific reasons. First of all, it works great with Kubernetes. It uses Kubernetes built-in service discovery to automatically discover new endpoints to scrape, meaning you can simply add new scrape targets without manually maintaining a registry. And nearly every application in Kubernetes land comes with an integration, oftentimes even with recommended dashboards and alerts. There's a runaway community effect. So there's a GitHub repo, Stack Overflow archives, and Grafana dashboards for basically everything. If you have a question, somebody out there is able to answer it. It's because Prometheus and its query language PromQL are now the standards. They're what Kubernetes developers know and expect. Prometheus is easy to extend. So writing your own exporter with your own metrics for your own application is very straightforward. You can easily monitor standard infrastructure metrics right alongside your custom application metrics. It's deployable by developers, so instead of waiting for a central administrator to set up new monitoring, developers can configure monitoring locally as Prometheus runs in the cluster. This shifts left observability and improves your feedback cycle. And finally, it's universal, it's open source, it's free, has a strong community behind it, just like Kubernetes itself, and people choose Prometheus for the same reasons they choose Kubernetes. So what is managed service for Prometheus? It's Google Cloud's fully managed hybrid and multi-cloud solution for Prometheus metrics. It lets you globally monitor and alert on your workloads using Prometheus without having to manually manage or operate Prometheus at scale. Because it uses the same APIs and backend as cloud monitoring, all managed service for Prometheus data is queryable using cloud monitoring, and all cloud monitoring metric data is queryable using PromQL, including over 1,500 free metrics from Google Cloud services such as BigQuery, PubSub, and GKE. Managed service for Prometheus is backed by Monarch, the same globally scalable data store used for Google's own monitoring. And it's backed by the same exact globally distributed team of SREs that maintain Google's own monitoring. It's global, globally scalable, has regional storage with global querying, which is really good for compliance reasons. You don't have to worry about uptime because it's a massively distributed multi-tenant service, and it comes with 24-month retention of metric data by default. Because Prometheus runs everywhere, managed service for Prometheus also runs everywhere. We have customers monitoring VM fleets alongside Kubernetes deployments. We have customers monitoring all three of their clouds together. Uh, we even have one customer monitoring a Raspberry Pi for some reason. You can bring all your metrics from all your clouds and on-prem deployments into a single place. You don't have to choose between the open source ecosystem and the Google ecosystem. You get the best of both while avoiding platform lock-in. So we're open source compatible, so we support Grafana, Alert Manager, community-created content, Prometheus operator, and we're cloud operations compatible. So you can view your metrics in cloud monitoring using PromQL. You can use log-based metrics with PromQL, et cetera. Managed service for Prometheus offers you options for trading off flexibility for managedness. For those that need the full power of the Prometheus ecosystem, the self-deployed route gives you full compatibility with Prometheus operator. For those that want a much more hands-off experience, our managed collection is configured using lightweight custom resources and runs without any upkeep on your part. And as time goes on, we'll also offer additional optional recommendations and out-of-the-box configurations you can use, which will embed Google's best practices into your monitoring workflows. So with that introduction to the product, 
I'm going to turn it over to Ashish Kumar to talk about how the Home Depot used managed service for Prometheus to get a single pane of glass across 2,300 stores running Kubernetes on-prem. Ashish? Thanks for the amazing introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Ashish Kumar, Senior Manager for Reliability and Production Engineering at Home Depot. For those of you who do not know what Home Depot does, Home Depot is North America's biggest home improvement retailer, ranked 17th in the Fortune 500 with more than $150 billion in sales in 2021 and has grown at a fast pace with close to $40 billion for the past two years. Headquartered out of Atlanta, Georgia, Home Depot employs around 500K associates. Talking about the footprint of uh, Home Depot, applications at Home Depot are very hybrid and are deployed across cloud, data centers, and the edge, which leads to a large amount of metric volume. As you can imagine, deploying across 2,200 stores or close to 2,300 stores at the edge can lead to so many data sources and federation of Prometheus. This increases the complexity and federates Prometheus across all touch points and establishes a and provides a problem with establishing right level of aggregation. Managed service for Prometheus helps us solve this problem. It provides an ideal way to aggregate metrics for application, infrastructure, and databases across all the multiple deployment locations, which is cloud, data centers, and the edge. Having this aggregation layer provides a single pane of glass for all our developers, operations, security, and site reliability teams to visualize and aggregate metrics in a highly hybrid ecosystem. So walking through the exact observability stack which Home Depot uses right now. So the current observability stack consists of Prometheus for metrics, which we enhance using exemplars. That helps us add context from a trace perspective for all our metrics. We use BQ or BigQuery to store our logs to ensure that we can figure out the stack traces whenever an exception happens for any code workflows. Open tracing or telemetry provides the visibility into traces and spans, helps us create a dependency graph and make sure that you know what we understand all the services connected to a given application. Talking about the journey from Prometheus to managed service for Prometheus. How Home Depot started was with self-deployed Prometheus across all deployments. We had a mixture of deployment on our physical servers for our on-prem workloads and GKE operators in GCP. We provided a self-guided way for developers to self-serve and shift left in metrics emission and testing journey, which used to be a post-production thought. It improves and helps in tracking and adoption of SLIs, SLOs, and SLAs. Prometheus, by design, was not meant to scale. And the team tried adding a long-term storage and tested Thanos, which is an open source long-term time series aggregation. It provided a long-term view for time series, but it also came along with its own problems. The specific problems which came along with testing Thanos was operational toil, upgrades, monitoring, and lack of documented availability targets. Every single quarter, my team spent a lot of capacity in maintaining, upgrading Thanos, responding to the alerts for the Thanos setup, reviewing storage and updating architecture every single time there was a change in the open source. With all this setup, there was no guarantee for a planet scale time series aggregation. This is where managed service for Prometheus comes in and allows us and helps us to do the things which matter, make decisions which matter and resolve issues faster. Now going into the demo, uh, talking about the scale and the volume, as you can see, we have 2,300 stores, we have on-prem locations, and we have uh, GCP where we deploy our application workloads. Looking at 2,300 stores is not an easy task. Looking at 2,300 stores with 2,300 different time series data sources can be very cumbersome. To ensure that we can understand the health of our whole store setup, we wanted to make sure that we could aggregate metrics at a certain level. In this particular use case, we use different filters like location and region to ensure that we can figure out how the outages are impacting a particular region or particular set of stores. Using different filters and aggregation of managed service for Prometheus, we can drill down into a specific store based on the alerts and errors which are firing from that particular store. We can drill down deep into understanding where exactly the issue is and do a proper root cause analysis. This solves the volume use case. The second use case for us is a hybrid use case where we have databases deployed across on-prem and cloud, and both of those databases act as a cluster. 
In this particular use case, what we are looking at is ensuring that we can figure out the health of the overall cluster across on-prem and cloud. We can use the filters to, again, just like in the store use case, figure out in what particular location or particular database cluster is located, ensure that we can figure out the health of an individual cluster, and make sure that we can respond to the alerts on time and for the right use case. With that, what are the next steps for Home Depot? We are continuing to work and enhance our observability posture at Home Depot. Next steps are linking all our metrics with managed service for Prometheus. Working with Google, we are trying to make sure that exemplars and trace context is becoming a default. Eventually, we want to complete the observability by linking metrics, traces, and logs stored in BQ. With that, I'm going to give it back to Lee. Lee, take it away. Thanks, Ashish. So you heard what's next for the Home Depot. What's next for managed service for Prometheus? Two major themes. Prometheus compatibility in the cloud operation suite, and more smart defaults and best practices built into the product. So first of all, uh, Prometheus compatibility. We love Prometheus, and we are all in on becoming more Prometheus compatible throughout the entire cloud operation suite. How does this work in practice? So today, we have PromQL throughout all of cloud monitoring just released. I'm super excited about that. Soon, you'll be able to import Grafana dashboards into cloud monitoring so you can combine the best of the Grafana ecosystem with the best of the cloud monitoring ecosystem. Today, we have managed Prometheus alerting and alert management. Soon, we'll have PromQL and cloud alerting as well, so you can get a fully web-based Prometheus compatible alerting experience. Today, no exemplars or tracing integration, but very soon, we are adding Prometheus exemplars and eventually open telemetry-based traces as well. Today, you can query log-based metrics using PromQL, but we're working on an even fuller metrics to logs integration, so you can pivot between your Prometheus metrics and the logs that underlie the core issue. Second, while Prometheus gives you a good set of tools, many people are at a loss for how to use them. This usually leads to scouring the internet for things to copy paste that might work for you, uh, hoping that somebody out there has made something that's relevant. So to solve this problem, we are building in more smart defaults and best practices into the product so you can spend less time figuring out what and how to monitor and more time making decisions. So today, we have a copy-pastable library of manifests for common applications. Soon, we'll also have out-of-the-box dashboards for these in cloud monitoring. And eventually, we'll have these deployable using gCloud. So you can just say, gCloud, give me Redis metrics. And you get a Google-vetted best practice set of metrics and alerts for Redis. Today, we have self-deployed collectors for VM monitoring. So you can monitor VMs just like you would with upstream Prometheus. Soon, we'll have agent-based collection so you don't need to worry about VM discovery. And eventually, we'll have auto discovery built in, so you can start monitoring new VM-based applications just as easily as you can monitor Kubernetes applications. Today, we have a metrics diagnostics page, so you can see which metrics and which namespaces are the most expensive for you and take action. Soon, we'll have collection time pre-aggregation, which allows you to save costs by aggregating away the instance label before saving the data. And eventually, we'll have a full suite of server-side rules that you can use to protect yourself against runaway cardinality. A quick aside, you heard that the Home Depot uses BigQuery for logs. Well, with our new log analytics preview, you too can easily analyze your logs using BigQuery. This preview gives you the best of both ecosystems, the power of BigQuery combined with the purpose-built log analytics UI in cloud logging. Try it today by visiting the cloud logging page in Cloud Console. And finally, for those that are not using managed service for Prometheus, you can get started today by visiting g.co slash cloud slash managed Prometheus. Thank you so much for joining me.